In depth on the biggest entertainment stories from around the world. Kim Kardashian's fortune, could she lose it in a money war? Hello and welcome to Entertainment Tonight. I'm Mark Steinis. And hi everybody, I'm Nancy O'Dell. Well, we know that Kim made her man sign a prenup. But Nancy, there are new concerns that the prenup may not hold up. Tonight, could a battle over Kim's money last longer than her marriage? Here is the latest news. How hard did you work to keep it together? And um, did you go think of marriage counselling? I think when you know so deep in your heart that you just have to listen to your intuition and follow your heart, there's no right or wrong thing to do. No marriage counselling? Chris blindsided? Could these be factors for a loophole? Kim putting her prenup at risk. I seriously doubt that the fact that Kim and Chris did not go through counseling together will change anything. I would think that their prenuptial agreement is ironclad. You spoke to me, Kim, so. New video of Chris Humphreys today in Minnesota heading to the gym and ignoring the paparazzi questions. You gonna uh, fight for your marriage, Chris? Reports say when the two negotiated their prenup over the summer, there were many bitter arguments. Chris apparently wanting to ensure he would get a big share of all the wedding earnings. But in the end, Kim reportedly got her way, and Chris got a limited cut of the millions in cash. Were you surprised by the negativity, people assuming it was a publicity stunt? I can't really live my life for what people are going to say and not say. It's hurtful, and I certainly didn't want to disappoint anyone. But first and foremost, I have to follow my heart. I'm following my heart. I follow my heart. Kim using her standard line on Australia's News 10 and on Sunrise at Brecky Central. Just one of five interviews and eight public appearances she made in the last two days. Host Melissa Doyle with what we didn't see on TV. I popped into the green room to introduce myself before we went to air. Kim didn't say a word. She seemed very quiet. Quiet, very tense. So could the battle for the money actually last longer than her 72-day marriage? Attorney and family law specialist Stephanie Blum explains. It absolutely could last longer. I would be surprised if it does. I think the most likely scenario is that Kim keeps what she earned and Chris keeps what he earned, and that's that. 